All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what an arithmetic sequence is. Uh, this is very straightforward stuff, so I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time in class uh, just kind of worrying about this stuff. Uh, there's a lot of ways that we can kind of um, get this sorted out uh, just through a little bit of time each day in warm-ups, and then we won't have to scramble to jam it in there in the fourth nine weeks. All right, uh, what is an arithmetic sequence? <clears throat> it's a list of numbers increasing or decreasing by a constant. An example, negative uh, 5, negative 2, 1, 4, 7. Um, I can see a pattern here in how I'm getting from one set of numbers to the next. Uh, I see from 5 to negative 2, I'm increasing by 3. From negative 2 to 1, I'm increasing by 3 again. From 1 to 4, I'm increasing by 3 again and again. So the next term in the sequence pretty clearly can come from adding 3, which would be 10. All right, so here's another example. Let's say I had 1, negative 6, negative 13, and then a blank. I need to figure out what the other term would be. Well, from 1 to negative 6, I'm subtracting 7. And then from negative 6 to negative 13, I'm subtracting 7 again. So I'm noticing the pattern. <coughs> so now, to get from negative 13 to that next term, I know I'm going to have to subtract 7, which means I'm going to get negative 20. And to keep going, I would just kind of keep subtracting 7. Or you could think of it as adding negative 7. Well, <clears throat> what isn't an arithmetic sequence is not quite so obvious. A non-arithmetic sequence is a list of numbers with a variable or non-constant change. What I'm not saying I'm not saying that they don't obey a pattern. Most sequences will obey a pattern, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're arithmetic. Here's a non-example. Negative 5, negative 2, 2, 7, 13. From negative 5 to negative 2, I'm adding 3. But from negative 2 to 2, I'm adding 4. And then from 2 to 7, I'm adding 5. And then from 7 to 13, I'm adding 6. Now, <clears throat> if I wanted to get to the next term, I would obviously have to add 7, which would mean the next term would be 20. There is a pattern here, and I am adding each time. But this is always changing, so it's not constant. Here's another example. And this one tricks kids up a lot. Well, from 25 to 5, I know that I am dividing by 5. And uh, now technically I could be subtracting 20, but to get from here to here, I'm not subtracting 20. It looks like I'm dividing by 5 again. Once again, there is a pattern, but in the first term, from here to here, I'm subtracting 20, and then from here to here, I'm subtracting 4. So there's a difference in the change there is a non-constant change. So this is not an arithmetic sequence. Uh, to boil this down a little bit more, uh, what does it take for a sequence to, to be arithmetic? If you are only adding or subtracting a constant to each term to get the next, then that sequence is arithmetic. Um, and that's not like a thing we made up, that's a definition. That's what it is. So every time you see a sequence that is um, changing constantly, I'm always just adding a thing to it, adding 4, adding 5, adding negative 7, which would mean subtracting 7, etc. These are arithmetic sequences.